Hey, third grade, ready for an art lesson with your friendly neighborhood art teacher? Today we're going to be working more on our anti-pollution posters. We're going to be looking at some of the things that we'll draw to show as examples of what pollution looks like. Before we begin, you're going to need paper. Lined paper or printing paper is fine. A pencil and eraser and some coloring supplies. Your third grade guiding questions have been, how do writers capture a reader's imagination? How can I create a solution to a problem that a library character might encounter? And how can the lessons learned from fictional texts transform society? Today, I will use, uh, your learning targets are, I can use my, line, my eyes to find lines in real life. I can draw the lines that I find, and I can practice my art multiple times. So before we go too far, you are going to be getting the beginning of the end for your expedition. The thing that we start today is going to be your practice for your ultimate piece. You're going to be practicing how to draw some of the pollution and some of the stuff that we see or that we want to put on our posters. Um, before we go too far, I'm going to show you some really good examples of some students' pictures of their uh, of the earth that we practiced last time. So we're going to look at some of these and um, then we'll get working on the uh, pictures of the pollution to look at. So great picture of the earth. I love how she added in the details. I saw, I can see the storm that was underneath the bottom or that's down near Central America. I like how they've got, she's got the different colors on here. Some of my criti some of my uh, things that I would work on is that South America is very small. It probably needs to be at least as big as North America. And the coloring around the outside kind of takes away from the really good coloring on the inside. But overall, still, excellent picture. We've got another example. Well done with the, I like how it looks like she's got a combination of two different things. Crayons on the, or a crayon for the ground and then uh, it looks like the water is done with a uh, marker. Um, one of the things I think could have been done a little bit better is I'm not sure what part of the earth this is. Uh, it looks like it's supposed to be the South America and North America, but we need to focus on looking for what lines connect where and how to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then we've got an excellent mentor level coloring. Love it. She's got some she's got some embellishments around the edge. Good job with uh, the I like how you you've even done a little bit of shading with it, making the upper and lower parts of the globe look darker. I, my critic the, the only thing I would have done here a little bit better is if you look off to the side of North America and then down to Central America, maybe work on the shape a little bit better. So let's look at some of the examples of next. Uh, we're going to look at some examples of air pollution, land pollution, water pollution. So these are some pictures that I have found that are great for showing you what we mean by these pollutions. You can use these as your examples, you can use these as your inspiration, or you can find your own examples, but I really wanted you to be able to get good examples to look at. So we've got air pollution here. This is smokestacks coming off of a probably a factory. It's just pumping all kinds of pollutants up into the sky. We've got land pollution. This is a little hard to understand because this isn't adding things, but this is the taking away of the trees that's the problem. This is clear cutting. When they do things like this, when it is just large, just uh, miles of trees that get cut down, that affects the earth. It affects how much uh, oxygen and CO2 and various other things that we need can be produced and then it's, well, it's a waste. So here's another form of land pollution and that is the trash. This is something that needed to be picked up. It needed to be put back. Uh, people needed to stop adding more trash to the top of it. And then the company responsible for picking up the trash needed to come get it. But this is an example of land pollution. And then we've got a picture of water pollution. 
This is a very big problem, since we've got a lot of plastic that's floating out there in the oceans. So we're going to stop. I'm going to pull up. Let's see if I can pull up uh, one of these pictures. And I'm going to show you what I mean by learning to draw or working on drawing some of these. Let's pull up the air pollution one. And then I'm going to... So what I mean by looking for things for you to draw. I want you to start looking at some of these pictures and I want you to figure out how you can draw this in or around one of the, in one of the sections around your earth. So let's look. First, these are going to be kind of easy because they've got oops, it's hard to draw on a screen, I find. We've got straight up and down stacks. We've got the round tops. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do a few. But then, how can we make this look like it's got pollution coming out? We're not going to do straight lines, but we can add along the top. And the same thing's coming up from this guy and this one. And this one is kind of important to be part of it and there's not it's not one big thick cloud you can see that there's actually different parts of it it gets a little bit you can see through some parts so that's not a bad way to draw you can see that that's definitely some kind of pollution let's look yes I know let's look at another one that we could work on drawing all right so Again, look for shapes that you know you can draw. Pretty easy. That's just a square. You could add the circle for the trash bags around them. But then, you're going to figure out how to make those more detailed and look them and make them look more like it's trash. Otherwise, it just looks like it's square with other things around it. So, let's add we'll got little handles there. We can add, I'm going to draw some of the Coke bottles and things that are hanging out around it. Look for colors. Colors is also going to be another important thing to do. What are a lot of colors that you see in this picture? There's a lot of white. There's a lot of black. There's some yellow. And then, yes, containing um, Let's see if I can get to that clear cutting one. There we go. So let's look at this one. We've got two parts of the land that we want to show. It is going to be important to show that there are still trees nearby. Otherwise, when people see the picture, they might not entirely know why you have this picture. So we'll draw some trees. And again, this is not detailed. I want you to go into more detail. I'm just trying to draw something quick so that you can see. But I also wanted to show you some of the things that I'm looking at. So now to show that it's been cut, I'm just going to draw some of the little stumps. And the farther back it is, the tinier they get. So I'll draw some of these big ones up here at the front. But if you saw a picture that looked like all of these had fallen down, that would show that would be a pretty easy way to see that that is a clear cut tree. So let's go back to the projector. We've got that. All right. So, oh, and then we've got something that is to help that is the recycling, plastic recycling. There's a great shot of the recycling picture, or the recycling logo right there. There's some good pictures of the, um, of, empty bottles that are being recycled. Today your task is to work on looking at these examples but then also looking, um, figuring out how you want to put your picture together or your poster together. I want you to practice some of these pollution examples. Trash, the pollutions, and even the recycling methods. You can use my pictures for your inspiration, or if you want to, you can look up your own stuff. That's fine. But I want you to practice a few different ones, at least three. 
use the previous techniques that we've been looking at, looking for lines, looking for shapes, observation, and how you can draw the pollutions and recycling methods. You have nothing to do today. You do not have to turn this in to me. This is a practice day. So if you have any questions, you can email me at afrans at amanaacademy.org. And in your turn-in uh, the turn-in folder, there will be a copy of this PowerPoint and the three pic or the pictures that I showed you today during the PowerPoint. So you will have something else to look at for that too. All right. Look forward to seeing you guys on Thursday.